Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I've won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! Careful, don't hurt yourself. Are you having fun yet, Jimmy? Heads up! Got something for ya! If you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow. You'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Special delivery. Poor little Jimmy. All alone in big, scary bulwark. Under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless, just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. And once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment to swoop in and take it all. It was like lining up dominoes. It all fell together so perfectly. Well, you were off wasting the time before it all fell. I was in the door planning. While you were racing bikes, while you were playing at the carnival like a child, my plan was coming together. The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk. You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy. Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can. Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great. But I never did anything to you. You would have if I'd given you the chance. Face it, I'm smarter than you. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> you're smarter than me. You hate everyone, and everyone hates you. Genius! The head likes me. I tied him up, turned his dog to school into a battleground, got kids expelled unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> I can 
take you, Hopkins! Any regrets, Jimmy? Looking forward to the win. Get off me! After you're expelled from here for your antics, idiot! I heard the whole thing. You're expelled. Come and untie me, boy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out. More or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. 